Hello and welcome to another episode of Anything Arduino. Uh, and this is our second part about RGB LEDs. And I know I said in the last video that we were going to talk about the TLC5940. We're not going to do that. Um, we are going to do uh, something similar to what we did last time. We're going to work with these uh, really simple, really cheap, uh, RGB LED strips that you can buy on eBay for just a few bucks for five meters of this. Um, the uh, difficult or, or different part with working with these with the Arduino uh, is that these are run from 12 volts and the Arduino as we know run from 5 or 3.3 so there's a difference there. Um, these are really cool for having um, uh, when you want to light up your uh, interior as interior lighting for example. You can also have it they are IP67 classed uh, strips as well which has uh, a plastic or resin coating so they are uh, can withstand a bit of uh, weather, uh, wet weather. Um, so anyway, um, we're going to, I'm going to show you how to connect the Arduino to this one. So you can, instead of, of using those controllers that you get with them, which are limited in functionality, you can do whatever you want with an Arduino. And to uh, connect the 5 volt Arduino with the 12 volt LED strip, we are going to use something called a N-channel MOSFET. Uh, so I'm going to go through this a bit. A MOSFET is usually in uh, comes in a TO220 package. Could also come in a TO92. Uh, it can be three or four pins. Uh, and there are two types. There's the enhancement type and the depletion type. The difference, so we come back to the what I talked about uh, when we talk about relays. So depletion type is normally open, we can call it, and enhancement type is normally closed, uh, which means that uh, so when there's no power to the gate or um, drain, I believe, on an end channel, uh, then there is no uh, connection or no power running from the uh, drain to source. Uh, while on the depletion type, which is normally open, so when there's no power on the gate, uh, it runs uh, power from the drain to the source. So in our case uh, I know this is not the perfect MOSFET to use with an Arduino. It's a K2842 and this actually has a... it needs to be fully functional. It needs 10 volts on the, on the gate. Uh, but these are what I had on hand and they work. But what you want, what you really want when you buy uh, for an Arduino, you want it to be logic level. Logic level which is 5 volts on, on the gate. So this one isn't, uh, it still works, but you really should have a logic level gate. That's when using the Arduino. So this one can actually have 500 volts over the uh, drain and source uh, and 12 amps. So there's it's enough to drive a 12 volt LED stripe. The pin configuration on this one is one is the gate, two is 
drain and 3 is source. The LED strip is quite simple as I said. It is a long strip with the really cheap models have one red, one green, one blue LED and it just goes on like this, red, green, blue and on and on. And they are in small sections where you can see you can cut it here and here. And if you cut it anywhere else it will break, but if you cut it here it will work. And you can also see we have a plus here, so these are common anode strips. If you buy one, at least if you want to follow this tutorial, you will need a common anode. And here you have the colors red, green, blue and plus. So to connecting this together we have added two more components. Uh, we need 12 volt power for the LED strip. Uh, I've showed these before. These are usually you can buy these in a kit when you buy the LED strip or you can buy them separate. Um, and then also we've added a Zener diode. In this particular application they are optional uh, but uh, they are in many designs on the internet they are added as a fail-safe. So this is a 12 volt Zener diode uh, which are I'll show you how to connect them, but they are put there to save the MOSFET if something should happen to the LED strip or the load. So it doesn't have to be an LED strip, whichever load you have. So we can begin by adding power to the LED strip. Then we want the gates, so let's call this one the red one the green one and the blue one and we are going to connect these to 9, 10, 11 just as we did in the last episode so pin 9 we connect to the gate of that one green we connect to number 10 to the gate and blue to pin 11 then we connect the drain to the RGB strip to the respective color that we want, so red to red, green to green, and blue to blue. The source is then connected to ground. Ground should of course be connected to the Arduino ground as well. Because the Zener diode is optional, we don't have to connect this. Uh, but if we want to use them, then we're going to connect it like this. So you see the little black line here? That is the direction of the LED. Uh, so this is going to be connected to power. 12 volts and the other side of the scener is going to be connected to the drain of each color and then we look at the code in the last episode we did a small test sketch just to uh, show how the uh, RGB LED worked so this is that exact sketch so if you want to know what I did you can go back and watch the previous video uh, but technically we connect the red LED to pin 9 green to pin 10 and blue to 11 these are 3 PWM pins we give them some values and their outputs so this is just I just tripled the fade sketch of the of the examples basics fade so that's how the as simple as it gets and then we analog write the red value to the the red value to the red LED 
and the green to the yeah you get it and then we delay this so the what whichever value we put in here so two five five zero two five five this will become purple if i'm not mistaken uh will be on the led strip so let's upload this to the arduino and look what happens so here it is um, because they are so far apart you can't really see the color it is trying to make if we put the diffuser over it we see a bit more of the color that it becomes so i'd say that is kind of purple And with this, I hope that you now know how to use the Arduino to really get control over your LED strips at home. Now you can choose any color, not only those that are on that small remote control. All this thanks to uh, MOSFETs, which can be used to drive many things and interact between the 5 or 3.3 volts of the Arduino and uh, larger voltages and loads like this LED strip. Uh, as I said this is not the optimal uh, MOSFET that I'm using it does work for this project but there are better uh, better ones that you should use for example one that Adafruit um, suggests is IRLB8721 so there's an L in there usually stands for logic uh, that one is good it is quite cheap and it can work with both 5 volts and 3.3 volts so no matter which version of Arduino you have you can use those MOSFETs also it has 16 amps uh, it can take the load of 16 amps on the drain, uh, drain and source over the drain and source so a good alternative I guess but this won't work for me right now uh, I hope you liked this if you did show that with a thumbs up uh, if you haven't already subscri subscribe to my channel and if you want to support my work uh, please check out my patreon which I recently added so until next time take care bye